How's it going guys? So I made one of these today and I have to say it's really, really useful, easy to make, cheap as chips, light, super practical. It really is an absolute winner. It's, it's, it's so simple. So as you can see, it's a little sort of bike prop or bike jack or whatever you want to call it. It's a little stand and made out of a pair of crutches. And as you can see, you can pop the uh, the back wheel up. So if you want to change a tire or just clean the wheels or whatever it is you're doing, just uh, lubing up the, the chain, you know, typical kind of maintenance stuff. Um, it works for that. You can pop the front wheel up. Uh, I would say that you should probably stick it in gear when you're doing this and also put the steering lock on just to make sure it doesn't uh, wiggle around on you. Uh, but yeah, you can get the front wheel up as well. So again, you know, check the tire, whatever it is you're doing, cleaning, fixing a flat, whatever it is, uh, it seems to work just fine. And you've got the little rubber stoppers there, so it doesn't seem to be doing any damage to the, um, the end of the forks or anything. And you can even, as long as you, um, I would suggest you stick the, um, yeah, the steering lock on, put it in gear, and ideally put the back wheel against a curb. You don't have to do this, you can do it without, but it definitely makes it a lot more stable. If you do those things, then you can um, jack up the center of the bike uh, around the, um, the, you know, the sump guard or the bash plate or whatever, depending on what, what your bike's got. Um, and yeah, I know you're not meant to do this on these bikes, on the Tenere, certainly. You're not meant to put a lot of weight on the, um, uh, the cowl, they call it. It's not even a proper bash plate. But everyone seems to do it, and I've been doing it, and it seems to be fine. Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, it can fit straight into a really tiny space as well. It's it's just a really tiny little thing. You know, there's, like, practically no storage space on the Tenere, but it even fits under the seat on this thing. So, yeah, it's really small, really light as well, and you do, only 227 grams. I was thinking about getting the, a proper center, center stand to do these kind of jobs, but it's, like, nearly 250 quid, and it weighs 5 kilograms, and I just thought, nah, I'm just going to make one of these instead. So what do you need? Tape measure, hacksaw, pencil, uh, two adjustable crutches. Now I find some on eBay for uh, 10 pounds. Um, we're gonna be using these bits on the right here. The rest of this we're just gonna be cutting off and chucking away. Uh, so these are the uh, the assembled um, parts. So you have you know the little middle bit with the adjustable holes. Uh, I, the way I did it, there's a short one and a long one, and then the two rubber ends, obviously. Um, but obviously you're gonna need to measure the uh, the clearances on your bikes, you know, the space between the, the swing arm and the ground and the, the clearance between um, you know your cowl and the ground and the front forks as well. But it's probably gonna be similar to my bike, depending on what bike you've got. Um, but yeah, I, I worked it out at just over five inches for the, uh, the longer section. Uh, and then the middle bit is just under seven inches, roughly. And then the short one was just over sort of four inches, four and a bit inches. And the minimum, for the way I've cut mine, the way I've set this up, um, at the moment I can use the, I can have a minimum extension of 11 and a half inches. So um, that's as small as I can make it. And then on the end holes, it can be up to 14 and a half inches. But then also you can actually go outside of the holes and just rest it on the edge of the tube. Obviously not, as, not quite as safe, not quite as stable, but you know, it's only really gonna fall apart when you take the weight off. You just gotta remember that. Um, but yeah, then you can go up to 16.5 inches using the sort of um, ends of the tubes rather than the adjustment holes, if that makes sense. And one thing to point out is probably there's more cutting involved than what you might think. Um, like for instance, in order to pack it down nice and small, I had to cut the very end off of each of the, um, the main tubes uh, just so that I could align the holes. Um, so I think I had to do about I think it was about eight or ten cuts i forget exactly now but you you do have to cut it more times than you think just to get it all nice and compact and as small as possible but yeah no this absolutely brilliant little device it wasn't my idea i saw someone else uh do it, talking about this on one of the forums but i haven't seen anyone do a video on it so i just thought oh, i'll just uh, explain what i did and how i did it uh and yeah it's really simple really cheap like i said really light really cheap and really practical and honestly I'm, I'm nowhere, there's no way I'm going to spend 250 quid on a, um, a center stand now and add all the weight and the bulk onto the bike. You know, the work of putting it on and all the rest of it. I'm, I'm just going to use this thing. It's really, really light and it, it does all the jobs that I need to do. Obviously not quite a stable center stand, but I'm happy to have that as a bit of a compromise. I think, like I say, if, as long as you put a wheel against a curb or a stone or something like that, just to give you an extra little bit, little bit of stability if you're really taking a wheel off and really going to work at it. Um, but either way, Brilliant, 
brilliant idea i think guys it wasn't mine but i thought i'd share it because yeah i think this is a, a great idea for anyone who doesn't want a center stand on their um on their bike thank you guys hope that was helpful and i'll catch you next time